गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आवर एट यूनिट फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ एनाटॉमी फिजियोलॉजी एंड कैंसियोलॉजी इन स्पोर्ट्स आवर बॉडी इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शनिंग ऑफ वेरे सिस्टम ऑफ बॉडी गुड वर्किंग ऑफ बॉडी कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रॉपर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ वेरियस सिस्टम्स वेरियस सिस्टम्स लाइक सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम एक्सेट्रा विच मेक अ मैन मोर इफिशियंट ई सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गन्स एंड ऑर्गन कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेरियस टिश्यू एंड टिश्यू कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेनी सेल्स मीन्स a group of cells make a tissue and a group of tissue make a organs and group of organs make a uh, organ system and group of organ systems make a human body therefore functional ability of the body depend upon the efficiency of each cell in this chapters we learn the basic working of various system anatomy and physiology anatomy is a part of physiology which study the human body function human body structures okay anatomy anatomy kya hai it is a biology it is a biology which study the human body function uh, human body structures we study about human human body structure this science this anatomy provide us the knowledge about human human body structures its shape and interrelate interrelation of various parts of the body physiology physiology is the science which deal with the functioning of various organs or the systems their relationship with other organs and their effects means physiology 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 is the study of functioning of various organs or the functioning of various systems of the human body their relationship with the other organs and their effect what are their effect anatomy and physiology are closely inter interrelated field and help us to understand the structures and functions of various body system physiological system of human body skeletal system skeletal system consists of bones joint cartilages etc skeletal system provide framework and shape to the body it is it protect the delicate organs delicate organs like kidney livers etc and give junction to the skeletal muscle okay skeletal muscle skeletal muscles means skeletal muscle consists of bones joint cartilages and it's provide a body framework means provide a structure to the body and also it protect the delicate organs muscular system muscular system consists of muscle tendon ligament etc tendon means tendons connect muscle to the bones and ligaments connect bones to the bones muscular system muscular system provide movement to the body through its contraction through muscular contraction it's provide movement to the body circulatory system circulatory system consists of blood blood vessel heart etc and it provide fluid movement in the body means it provide uh, movement it provide proper movement of blood throughout the body respiratory system respiratory systems it consists of breathing organs breathing organs like lungs trachea alveoli etc respiratory systems helps in energy production digestive system digestive system consists of stomach food pipe intestine etc it helps in energy production
नर्वस सिस्टम नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ब्रेन ब्रेन स्पाइनल कॉर्ड्स एंड नर्व्स इट्स इट कंट्रोल द वर्किंग ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गन्स ऑफ द बॉडी इट कंट्रोल इट कंट्रोल द वर्किंग ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गन्स इन आवर बॉडी ग्लैंडुलर सिस्टम ग्लैंडुलर सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंडोक्राइन इंडोक्राइन एंड इंडोक्राइन एंड एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड रिलीज देयर इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड रिलीज देयर सिक्रीशन इन टू द ब्लड स्ट्रेन ब्लड स्ट्रेन ऑफ ब्लड स्ट्रेन ब्लड कैरी द सबस्टेन थ्रू द बॉडी टू इट्स टारगेट टिश्यू एंड एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड डायरेक्टली रिलीज इज सिक्रीशन इन टू द टारगेट ऑर्गन्स एंड ग्लैंडुलर सिस्टम्स हेल्प इन वेरियस ऑर्गन्स टू वर्क प्रॉपरली एस्क्रेटरी सिस्टम एस्क्रेटरी सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ कंसिस्ट ऑफ किडनी स्किन एक्सेट्रा एंड इट हेल्प इन एस्क्रेटिंग वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट मीन्स रिमूविंग द वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम द बॉडी लाइक थ्रू यूरिन स्वेटिंग एक्सेट्रा इट्स हेल्प टू रिमूव द वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम द बॉडी रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स इट्स हेल्प इन रिप्रोड्यूसिंग यंग यंग वंस As a result of physical activity, many changes occur. If we do physical activity, then many changes occurs in our body. Some changes are permanent and some are temporary. But all these changes have uh, have positive effect in the human body. Importance. What are the importance of anatomy and physiology? The first is knowledge gain. these are important uh, these are the important subject of biology and give give us knowledge about the body anatomy anatomy provide you uh, provide you knowledge about structure of the human body and physiology provide you knowledge about the functioning and its effect functioning of various organs and its effects so so the knowledge of anatomy Uh, knowledge of anatomy and physiology give us knowledge about our body we know about the human body understanding the structures anatomy provide anatomy it helps to understand the structures of the body how our body is made it helps to provide a knowledge about the structure of our body properly understanding the body organs physiology helps to understand the functioning of various organs and its system how our body how our different organs function and what are their effect the knowledge uh, through physiology we get our knowledge about its working helps in understanding the body anatomy and physiology helps to understand the role and functioning role and functioning of various various organs and system thus give us knowledge about their working helps in understanding the body this subject anatomy and physiology helps to understand the role and functioning of various organs helps to improve the health it helps to improve the health of an individual if we know about our body automatically it helps us to improve our uh, our health prevent health problem good understanding about the about our body if we have knowledge about our body our internal organs etc then it will helps to overcome the health problem with your knowledge improve efficiency this subject helps 
the individual to improve the efficiency of various system thus overall efficiency can be improved with the help of anatomy and physiology we can improve the efficiency of various system various system and if the efficiency of various system improve the overall efficiency of our body can be improved meaning of kinesiology kinesiology is the scientific study of human body human movement theke okay? kinesiology is the study of human body movement how our body move it give us knowledge about the movement of of our body applications of kinesiology to the human human health includes biomechanic biomechanics means study study um, study study about the force in a living being study of mechanisms in a living things orthopedics orthopedic means study of bones strength and conditioning sports psychology methods of rehabilitation such as physical and occupational therapy and sports and exercise our body our body uh, usually uh, as we know that our body is made of bones and muscles uh, bones and muscles which help the body to perform external movement external movement muscle provide us energy muscle provide us necessary energy and force for movement whereas bone act as a levers therefore kinesiology kinesiology with the help of kinesiology we can understand the movement how our body understand about the movement various movement of our body importance what are the importance of kinesiology and biomechanic in sports first is understanding the human movement kinesiology and biomechanics helps to know about the human movement how our body move knowledge about various movement of the body knowledge about force on the body it give us knowledge about various force acting upon the body efficient movement it provide uh, it provide knowledge to perform efficient movement as it helps to develop the good skill with the help of improving our movement with the help of improving our movements it helps to develop um, it helps to develop a good skill correct movements it helps to correct the fault movement thus the movement is effective effective and efficient with the help of kinesiology we know we study the human movement we we have we get the knowledge about the movement and the knowledge uh, knowledge uh, knowledge of movement by understanding the human movement we correct our fault movement we can correct our fault movements and helps and help for effective and efficient movement prevent injury if we know about the movement about the movement then we can reduce the injury moreover we can also prevent the injury by correcting our movement improve performance it's have to improve the performance of the individual by developing good technique and good training methods if we develop the good technique and good training methods it will helps to improve the performance knowledge about physics principles kinesiology and biomechanics helps to helps to gain the knowledge about various physical principles like law of motions levers types of body equilibrium various force projectiles aerodynamic etc this physical principles um we get uh, we get a knowledge about this physical principles guide the safety principle this subject guide us the safety principles and prevent injury 
helps in research work. Biomechanics principles helps in research work and direct scientific approach. Helps in developing new equipment. With the help of cancerology and biomechanics, we can develop the new equipment and tools for, uh, for the better movement, for the, for the help of human movement, for correct movement, for better movement. Improve, improve training technique. We can also improve our training technique. Uh, credit confidence. It helps to create the confidence in the player and also it helps to motivate. Skelter system. Skelter system. Skelter system consists of bones and joint which provide attachment to the movement of the body. Okay, skeletal, skeletal system is made of bones, bones and joint. Proper functioning of skeletal system and muscular systems improve the efficiency of the body. If our muscular systems and skeletal system perform properly, then the efficiency of the body will be improved. Bones and its classification Bones and its classification. There are 206 bones in human body. Okay, 206 in human body. But during the birth, at the time of birth, there are and in the adult food, there is 206 bones. Bones get fused and 200, uh, 206 bones in the adults. In the birth, at the time of birth, there are 270 bones and these bones fuse and become 206 bones in the adult. Bone is divided into three parts, head bone, head bone, hollow sap and 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 or tail bones and femur bones. Femur bones present. Uh, present in the thigh is the longest bone and step is step is present in the ear is the smallest bone this this femur femur bones is the longest bone femur is the longest bone and step is present in the ears is the smallest bone This is this is the head, head bone, hollow, soft, and this is the tail, tail of the bone. Bone, bone is classified into three parts: head bone, hollow soft, and tail bone. Bone, bone are the hardest connective tissue. Okay, bone is the hardest connective tissue. Forming the skeletal system. Like connective tissue, it is made of matrix. Okay, bone is made of matrix. Long bones are usually hollow. Okay, jo bhi long bone hote, wo hollow. Okay, internally it is hollow. Containing a bone marrow in it. Cartilage. Cartilage are the elastic, elastic hard connective tissue. Cartilage are elastic hard connective tissue. The elasticity, okay, the elasticity of cartilage is due to the presence of presence of chlorine, uh, chlorine proteins and some in organic salt. Types of bone. Types of bone. There are various types of bones. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 types of bone. Long bone, short bone, flat bone, irregular bone, 
सिसामोइड बोन कार्टिलेजिनियस बोन ठीक है दिस आर द टाइप्स ऑफ बोन लॉन्ग बोन्स लॉन्ग बोन्स दे आर द लॉन्ग एंड वाइड ठीक है लॉन्ग बोन्स आर लॉन्ग एंड वाइड दिस लॉन्ग बोन्स एक्ट एज अ लीवर्स एंड लॉन्ग बोन्स दिस आर प्रेजेंट दिस आर प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट लेग एंड आर्म्स ठीक है लॉन्ग बोन्स क्या है दे यूजली लॉन्ग बोन्स आर लॉन्ग एंड वाइड एंड दिस एक्ट एज अ लीवर्स एंड दे आर प्रेजेंट इन थाई आर्म एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट इज शॉर्ट बोन शॉर्ट बोन इज शॉर्ट इन साइज एंड क्यूब इन सेप दे आर फाउंड इन रेस रिक्स रिक्स फ्रेंग इज फ्लैट बोन्स फ्लैट बोन्स मीन्स दे आर फ्लैट बोन्स फ्लैट बोन्स हैव ब्रॉड सर्फेस दे आर मोस्टली दे दे मोस्टली प्रोटेक्ट आवर्स आवर्स इंटरनल ऑर्गेन्स एंड गिव अटैचमेंट टू मसल लाइक स्टर्नम स्कैपुला एक्सेट्रा ठीक है फ्लैट बोन फ्लैट बोन्स हैव ब्रॉड सर्फेस एंड दे प्रोटेक्ट आवर इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स लाइक लाइक रिप्स रिप्स प्रोटेक्ट आवर लीवर्स हार्ट एक्सेट्रा इरेगुलर बोन दिस बोन्स दिस बोन्स हैव इरेगुलर सेप लाइक वर्टिवरा स्कल ठीक है दिस ऑल आर इरेगुलर बोन सिसामोइड बोन सिसा सिसामोइड बोन्स दिस आर द इम्बेडेड इम्बेडेड मीन्स फिक्स ठीक है दिस बोन्स आर फिक्स इन टेंडन्स दे होल्ड द टेंडन्स लाइक अ पैटिला ठीक है सिसामोइ जॉइंट जॉइंट आर फिक्स इन फिक्स इन टेंडन कार्टिलेजिनियस बोन्स कार्टिलेजिनियस बोन्स आर फिक्स एंड सॉफ्ट कार्टिलेजिनियस बोन्स आर फिक्स एंड सॉफ्ट एंड दे आर फाउंड इन ईयर एंड नोज ठीक है दिस ऑल आर दिस दिस आर फाउंड इन ईयर एंड नोज दिस इज द लॉन्ग बोन फ्लैट बोन्स फ्लैट बोन्स दैट प्रोटेक्ट योर इंटरनल ऑर्गन लाइक लीवर्स किडनी दिस इज योर इरेगुलर बोन्स विच इज प्रेजेंट इन योर वर्टिब्रा एंड दिस इज योर शॉर्ट बोन ठीक है जैसे कि मैंने बताया स्केल्टर सिस्टम स्केल्टर सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ बोन्स एंड ज्वाइन आवर बोन्स इन आवर बॉडी देर आर टू हंड्रेड सिक्स बोन्स बोन्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट हेड बोन सार्ट बोन मीन्स हॉलो साप एंड टेल बोन एंड बोन्स देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बोन लॉन्ग बोन मीन्स विच आर लॉन्ग विच आर लॉन्ग एंड वाइड शॉर्ट बोन्स दे आर शॉर्ट शॉर्ट एंड क्यूब सेफ फ्लैट बोन्स इरेगुलर बोन सीसाबॉइड बोन्स एंड कार्टिलेजिनियस बोन्स नेक्स्ट इज ज्वाइंट ज्वाइंट एंड इट्स टाइप ज्वाइंट ज्वाइंट क्या है ज्वाइंट इज द प्लेस वेयर टू और मोर बोन्स मीट और ज्वाइंट ठीक है ज्वाइंट इज द प्लेस वेयर टू और मोर बोन्स मीट ज्वाइंट्स आर थ्री टाइप्स इमोवियबल ज्वाइंट स्लाइटली मूवियबल ज्वाइंट्स एंड फ्रीली मूवियबल ज्वाइंट इमोवियबल ज्वाइंट दिस इमोवियबल ज्वाइंट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फाइब्रस ज्वाइंट दिस these are also known as fixed joint because bones are joined together and and no movement is possible okay immovable 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 bones this this uh, this joint okay they they also known as fixed joint okay immovable joint is also known as fixed joint the bones the bones are joined together and there is no movement is possible like in skull slightly movable also known as cartilage cartilaginous bones slightly movable means this joint are slightly moved 
slightly movement in this uh, in this joint there uh, there is a slight movement like in inter uh, vertebration okay like in inter uh, vertebration next is freely movable joint also known as synovial joint freely movable this joint can move to a great extent these are covered by the thin membranes and filled with synovial fluid okay in between the joint it is synovial fluid therefore it's therefore the joint move freely to a great extent in all freely movable or synovial joint the joint is filled with the joint is filled with synovial fluid synovial fluid is a liquid just like a oil okay therefore it make it slightly freely which act as a bracing agent to provide slippy surface to the joint okay synovial fluid it's a, it is like a bracing and it make the joint slippy this joint uh, this uh, further this joints are covered by thin membranes called synovial membranes and there are six six types of joint ball and socket joint hinge joint pivot joint gliding joint and um, condyloid joint ball and socket joint ball and socket joint this ball and socket joints is present at the shoulders or hip ball and socket joint provide you 360 degree angle 360 degree angle movement okay ball and socket joint provide you 360 degree angle movement hinge joint hinge joint it is present in the elbow um, elbow it provide you forward and backward movement in one place okay hinge joint provide you upward and downward movement in in one plane for example in elbow in your knee next is pivot joint pivot joint is present present at neck okay it is present at neck and pivot joint uh pivot joint pivot joint provide you rotation movement okay it provide you rotation movement the bones bones act as a um, bones and then your bones provide your rotation movement rotation next is gliding joint gliding joint it is present at carpal joints carpal joints or it is present in hand the bone surface that the joint held together are flat okay in in gliding joint uh, in gliding joint okay in that joint joint hold hold together are flat for example uh, for example in your hand saddle joint uh, saddle joint which is present in the thumb saddle joint one bone <laughs> in saddle joint it is present in thumb it provide you flexion act uh, flexions uh, extensions abductions and adductions movement the movement take place at one axis and allow different movement okay first bone in in saddle joint first bone is sharp uh, first bone is shaped like a saddle with other bone resting on it okay one bone bones act as a saddle and other bones other bone resting on it okay. the bone us pe rest karte hai like a uh, horse riders okay horse riders uh, like a horse riders riders on a horse next is condyloid joint condyloid joint which is present in your present in your wrist it will provide you uh, flexions extensions abduction adduction and circumduction movement this is your pivot joint pivot joint provide you rotation movement which is present in the neck this is hinge joint this is your hinge joint hinge joint provide you uh, 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 
provide you direction in one direction 180 180 degree movement up down and this is your uh, this is your uh, saddle joint this is your condylite joint okay and this is your uh, ball and socket joint okay these are the types of joint ball and socket joint and shoulders it provide you 360 degree angle movement hang joint which is present in your uh, in your elbow okay elbow knee pivot joint this is present in your neck and provide you rotation movement gliding joint which is present in your carpals or hand okay in which there is forward and sideward movement uh, one bones glide over the others and saddle joint which is present in the terms mm, present in your terms one bone saddles over the others and next is condyloid condyloid joints condyloid joint which is present in your wrist which which provide you upward flexion extensions abduction adductions and circumduction movement this is your condyloid joint okay upward downward side to side and circular movement